Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Super, super glad that you're here today. I am loving life freely on YouTube, um, Instagram, eBay, and all those great places. I am a full-time reseller, um, running um, you know businesses on places like eBay, whatnot, Macari, Poshmark, all those things. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to share with you another unboxing. This is the last one that I have currently through Helps You Source. I do have more boxes coming, but they're not from Helps You Source, so stay tuned to find out what new unboxings we have coming up. I'm so excited. I think I know what this box is, and if it is, um, I'll share with you the details here in a minute, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we're going to open this box. I am so excited to open this. I think when they had all the Christmas sales going on, there was one day where they were buying, they did a sale, like you could buy three boxes and get one free. And I did that. And so this box is men's flannel shirts and it cost me nothing. It was completely free. It was a buy three boxes, get one free. And this was my free one. So anything that I list here on this box is literally pure profit outside of um, any fees. Um, and we'll go through and see what we like in this box. And um, I have mentioned to y'all, my husband and I are going to be doing a garage sale this spring. So some of these might get listed and some of these might go in that garage sale. Since this box was free, even if I asked $5 for it, you know, it's just $5 right in my pocket, right? So I am excited though because I would like to get these listed now because uh, we are in winter. And um, there's 40 pieces in here, so I could easily list these over the next few days. I do want to get these posted so that men have some flannels to get, because I do sell men's clothes. And I think flannels are a really popular, common thing for men, whether they wear them at work, they wear, uh, they wear them out when they're working on their property, or whatever the case may be. So we're going to dive into these and see what we have. Um... And depending on what I get, I might even give my husband a couple. Okay, good fellow and company. This is an extra large. Um, I do sell good fellow on men's. Um, I know it's uh, like, I think it's like a Target brand. It's either a Target or Walmart. But this is a nice men's shirt and it's an extra large. So I will probably definitely list this one. Barring no issues with it. Looks like we have some nice colorways in here. I'm happy with that. Okay, John Bartlett. This is the Central Flannel Consensus. This is a size large. Again, the great colorways on these. Um, so, yeah. Unless something is in really poor condition or it's just like a really bad brand that I know probably won't get any likes, most of this should be getting listed. Okay, Weatherproof Vintage. I don't sell a lot of weather, weatherproof, but this is a nice colorway. So I probably will list this anyway just because it's got a great blue colorway on it. And you see a lot of men wearing the blue colorway. It's a very popular one between that one and red. So I will probably still list that one and just see what it does. If you are, uh, it, it, from what I understand, let me, let me approach it that way. Um, men don't care so much, so much about brand. Now, granted, they're like Carhartt, Cole, things like that. They definitely pursue if they like those brands. But for the most part, men um, are looking more for the, the, the need of the clothing. They don't look at brand as like women do. Um, like a lot of women, they have a brand that they stick to. Um, men look for what's working for them, unless, again, it is a specific brand. Um, like Cole or Nike or something like that. So um, I'm not too concerned so much as much about the brand unless I know for sure it won't do well. Now this is another weatherproof. This one is um, a double extra large. And I'm wondering if this one's also double extra large. This one's a large. Okay. I was maybe getting a lot of those two together. But they're not the same size. So we'll see. Okay, this one is, feels a little bit thicker. This is St. John's Bay. This is also an extra large. This is a nice, this one again, kind of feels like a shacket. It is definitely thicker, heavier. Um, it just, <clears throat> I'm curious if this is partially, <clears throat> excuse 
excuse me, partially, um, wool. I don't think so. I don't think they make these things in wool. I'm just curious. It's not telling me. Uh, because it just feels thicker. Okay, no, it is just cotton. Um, so yeah, that's a nice green one. I need my water. There we go. Sorry, I'm just going to take a little drink here really quick. It's been a while since I've listed anything men's. So. Oh, this one's hooded and it's got a great colorway. Okay, this one's Sonoma. Again, I do not typically list Sonoma. But this one's hooded and it seems to be in really nice condition. It's got a great colorway to it. So I might actually list this one. All right, what do we have here? Urban Pipeline. Okay. It's got a nice block colorway. Not block, but uh, plaid. Most of these obviously in here are plaid. Now, Urban Pipeline, I do have a few things listed Urban Pipeline. This is a large. Um, again, I I'm, was planning to list most of these. Okay, this one is a bit thinner. Rails. Wow. Now, I don't know how men's rails does. This is rails, y'all. Rails is a good brand, and it's got a great blue colorway to it. This is lightweight. It does have the front pocket. It's got, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got some silver detail throughout it. This is a beautiful shirt. I wonder. It has rails on the bottom here. I'm curious if this is cotton. It is rayon. So this is a really beautiful shirt. I'm actually going to get that one for sure listed today. Very, very nice. I just learned about rails the other day. So, um, you guys, I love watching videos because I learned so much between what souls, people sourcing, people listing, um, people talking about what brands they pick up. It's amazing the information you can learn from watching other people's videos and unboxings. Um, I learned so much through y'all. I learned a lot even on whatnot auctions because they talk about brands and different things about stuff. I learned so much. Like like anthropology. I did not know that some of the items that I had were anthropology so or like Revolve. So I went through and redid some of my listings to note anthropology and Revolve. It makes a difference, you guys. You can learn so much. This is Lucky Brand and I will definitely be listing this. Y'all know I have some Lucky currently listed. I've already been selling Lucky pieces from that Lucky box. Okay, what's this one? It'd be great if I could find another Rails. Okay, Dahlia. Nice black piece. This is a small, I'm pretty sure. Okay, see, this is a U.S. large. This might be a boy's large because there's no way that's a men's large. Is Dahlia a boy's, a boy's brand? I'll have to do some research on that because that is way too small to be a men's large. Okay. Another weatherproof. And this one is an extra large. So I will pair this with the other weatherproof extra large. And I'll sell them together. Yeah, we'll do that. This is a nice one. I love the red colorway on this. Great, great colorway. I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. These are falling over. Okay, next, okay, Land's End. Now, see, this is another thing. I was just talking about watching videos and whatnot auctions. I actually found out through videos and whatnot auctions. I used to think Land's End, my, my daughter actually used to wear, our oldest daughter went to private school for a while when she was really, really little. She went to private school for a very short time. And um, she had to wear Land's End clothes um, for their uniform. And to me, I was thinking it was a cheap brand, but I have found out the Land's End is a really nice brand and it's expensive. So I do not pass Land's End up now. Um, I will definitely be listing this. It's a size medium. This is a nice shirt. So yeah, I honestly, guys, if you're not watching other people um, and, and their videos and seeing what they do, you're really missing out on great information. By the way, if you are new to reselling, I would like to say welcome to the community. And I would really, really encourage you, since we're on the topic of watching other videos, 
I definitely encourage you to watch videos like that. You will learn so much about reselling. And check out our weekly chat on Wednesdays. We've been covering a lot of great things. There's a lot of good information for there, in there for new people. So guys, do subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when we're putting up videos like that. And I definitely encourage you to watch others too. This is a Craft and Barrow. Now, I don't typically like to list that, um, but I might list that one too. I'll have to see. Maywell. Oh my gosh. Now, this must be a women's shirt, y'all. This has got to be a women's shirt. Because I don't know. Do they make Madewell men's? Comment down below if you know if Madewell makes men's or if it's just women's. And if it's women's, I'm thrilled that I got this. I will definitely be listing this. And it's a beautiful black, a blue-green colorway. So that's definitely going to get listed today with that other one. Because um, y'all know I'm trying to list an average of 18 to 20 pieces a day. Um, so that's definitely going to be one of them today. And so is this one. This is American Eagle Outfitters. This is the size small. Great, great colorway again. This just reminds me of Lumberjack. <laughs> I'm so glad y'all are here with me going through this box. I've been just loving y'all. It's just been amazing. Another Urban, uh, an urban Outfitters, which is um, BDG. Uh, uh, BDG is part of Urban Outfitters. Um, so definitely excited about this one too. I'm really kind of happy with this box so far. I think we're getting some great pieces. And considering the fact that it was free, um, I'm excited to see how this box does. And I will be doing a 90-day update on this box. So you guys, make sure you're sticking to the notification. This is Nautica Sleepwear. Now this one feels a little bit more worn. Um, and I do not typically sell Nautica. So I might just put this one um, in our um, garage sale that we're going to be doing. Because I just don't think... That has a, has a little bit more wear and I don't know if I want to list that one. Okay. Bean Signature Slim Fit. Do you all know about Bean Signature? Never heard of this brand before. Please tell me in the comments below if you've heard anything about it. Another really beautiful red colorway. Look at this gorgeous colorway, guys. I am very happy with this. It has front pockets. This feels a little bit heavier, too. This is a nice, a nice, good piece. Very happy with that. Okay. All right, Good Threads. Another one I've never heard of. And this one does have a little bit more wear to it. So I will determine whether or not I want to list this. I'm going to double check and make sure it's in good condition. If it's got too much wear... Um, but yeah, we'll take a look at that one. I'm actually going to put it right down there because I'm running out of room here. Okay, Lee Writers. Um, now, I don't know how well Lee does because I don't typically list Lee. It's just never really come in my boxes. This is a nice colorway again. This is a size small. Um, okay, is this a small men's or a small kid's? That just, that, I think that's the small kids, because that just looks too small to be a small men's. So there might be some kids pieces in here, too, and honestly, I'm okay with that. For this particular situation, I'm okay with that. Okay, Arrow, again, I don't really like selling Arrow, and this one does feel a little bit used. Um, it is a nice colorway, but it just kind of feels a little bit more beat up, so I think that will go in the garage sale. Okay, Van Heusen, I used to list Van Heusen when it came in the men's boxes, but I do not list it anymore. I have sold some Van Heusen, but I don't like having it in my closet anymore, so this will go in the garage sale. It's another great uh, colorway, but I just don't like selling it. Um, so that will go in the garage sale. I've sold a few men's Van Heusen shirts that came in men's boxes. But I do still have uh, some of them do, uh, uh, listed, too. Okay, this is Divided. This is H&M. H&M um, uh, is part of Divided, or Divided is part of h and i I'm not sure how it goes. This one is kind of worn, too. Um, I will probably put this also in the garage sale. It seems kind of vintage to me a little bit, too, just by the colorway. Okay. Faded Glory. Now, again, I don't really like listing. I have listed Faded Glory in the past. In fact, I actually listed some men's plus, women's plus sizes of Faded Glory um, that I would probably be taking down for the garage sale if they don't sell by then. 
Um, just because Fading Glory is not a popular brand in any way, shape, or form. This is a nice colorway, though. It's a shame it's Fading Glory. Um, I might actually comp that and see if it would be worth it. Because it's a plan to see if I can just get a few dollars for it. Okay, Outdoor Exchange. This is 100% acrylic. This has two tags on it. This one feels a little bit thicker, too. This is Outdoor Exchange. This one's a size small. Another beautiful blue-green colorway has the front pockets. So I'm going to comp that one and see how that one might do. Okay, Morona. Oh, it's a shame this is Morona. Look at this pretty colorway. This is a size medium. This would actually look really good on my husband. He wears a medium. I might give that to him. I don't know. He doesn't. He has um, some brands that he likes to stick to, um, just because he knows how they fit on him. Um, Aeropostale. This will probably go in the garage sale, even though it has really great colorway to it. But I really just don't like doing putting Aeropostale up. So, and this one is a bit more worn, also. Okay. Ooh, this feels really light. This might actually even be a women's piece just because of the way it feels. Lucky brand, size medium. I'm going to definitely say this is a girl's piece. It just feels like a girl's piece. Um, it is a size medium. But, I mean, it's a peach but blue colorway. You don't typically see a colorway like this on, on men's. Um, so, yeah. I, I'm probably going to list that one because... My Lucky is selling. Okay. Next, Craft and Barrow. Okay, let me ask you guys a question. Knowing how much men love flannels, would it, with a box like this, would you just go ahead and list everything unless it has a little bit more wear on it? Would you just list it even though it may be a brand that isn't really common, but because it's a flannel and men's, would you go ahead and just put it up and see what it does? Especially if it was free for you. This is another really great colorway. This is a size large. So I may go ahead and list that one. I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air about it. Another Sonoma. Another great colorway. I love plaid shirts like this. My husband and I wear these a lot during the winter season between these and sweaters. I live in them. Um... I don't know, I'm debating. I really don't want to list Sonoma. Oh, this one's thick and heavy again, too. Okay, this is Jacques. I actually have a couple women's Jacques shirts listed from that reseller boxes that I got. Um, this is a nice tan kind of gray colorway. Um, it's got the front pockets. This one is a bit thicker and heavier. I am definitely going to list that one. I think that'll be a good one. Ooh, what is this? Okay, this is Westport. Okay, now see, and again, this is a size large. I think this is a women's. Um, normally, I do not like doing Westport, but because it's got this kind of detail and this is beautiful red colorway, size large, I might list this one also. This is definitely a women's shirt. It's got the ability to do the three-quarter button sleeve. Um, and so if that's in good condition, I might list that one. Okay, this looks like another women's. Yes, this is definitely a women's. Hollister, size extra small. Do y'all list Hollister? That's another brand that I think is kind of up in the air. I've seen people um, who won't touch it. I've seen people who say, yeah, it's great. This is definitely a women's shirt. Um, it does have some wear, though. So I'll probably put this one in the garage sale. It's got this cute beadwork on the pocket. Okay, almost there, guys. We've got a few, a few a handful left. We're getting there. This one is divided again by H&M. This is a size 4. Okay. I'm going to guess this, this is a kid's size 4. Because this is pretty small. It's cute. I might list that one, too. It looks to be in good condition. I will double check the condition on all these. I'm trying not to take too long going through this box for y'all. Craft and Barrow 2X. Okay, because this is the 2X, 
I don't like listing Croft and Barrel. Hmm. Because it's Croft and Barrel, I don't think, I'm just going to put this in the garage sale. I just don't want to put Croft and Barrel in my closet. I'm really trying to put the nicer brands in my closet now. Unless it's just a really great um, um, style. Okay, this is Wild Fang. This has some great colorway to it. I have never heard of this brand before. Have you all heard of Wild Fang? This is a gorgeous colorway. Look at these beautiful colors. Um, it's got the Wild Fang on the pocket. Yeah, I'm definitely going to list this. I'm going to con con conk it. Con uh, comp it. <laughs> I was trying to say cog. And we're going to see what that's about. Okay. Amber Crombie and Fitch. I'm not going to list this one. For one thing, it is kind of used, even though it has really beautiful colorway on it. Um, and I just don't want to put more Abercrombie and Fitch in my closet. Okay, Woolrich. This is a, another gorgeous blue colorway. This is a size, a double extra large. I'm definitely going to list this. This is a great piece for the men. Double extra large Woolrich. Look at that beautiful colorway. Yeah, we'll definitely be listing that one. Okay. Hollister, size medium. So I have to decide if I'm going to list this one. Another great colorway. Okay, Amber Crumbly and Fitch, size small. This is obviously a girl's shirt. This will go in the garage sale. And last but not least, Sonoma, size medium. This one will also go in the garage sale. Okay, button down, kind of used up. Okay, let me double check the count for everybody, okay? Okay, we definitely had 40 pieces in here. Again, this box was free for me. So anything that I sell in here is just literally pure profit aside from any seller fees if they go up on platforms. Now there are definitely some pieces in here as we've seen. I'm definitely going to pull out and put in for my listings today because I do want to get these going since they are a great winter piece and they're going into spring summer. So I'm definitely going to be getting these up and going over the next couple days. Guys, do stay tuned for more unboxings. We've got some great stuff coming down the pike. You don't want to miss it. Again, if you have not subs yet subscribed, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up. If seeing what this helps you source men's flannel box would do for you, would you maybe get this or not? Um, if there was a blessing to you, please do give it a thumbs up. Do hit that bell notification so you know when we're doing 90 day updates, any hauls, unboxings, our weekly chat. Anything that's going on, you guys, that we're doing here, um, follow up on thread of things that I'm doing. You guys don't want to miss all this great content. Guys, we'll see you in the next one.